Attention, the following video may contain fun, humor, profanity, personal opinions, political incorrectness, and so on. If you are under the age of 18 or are easily offended by something as simple as gendered words, then I suggest you turn this video off and watch something more suited to you. Something like Sesame Street. Don't say I didn't warn you. How dare you! G'day guys, welcome back to the channel again. This video is going to be part... I'm going to have to think of part 3 now. Of uh, team Project Team Associated No Prep. So this is a series of videos where I am turning an old... Or old-ish uh, Team Associated B5M into a No Prep drag car. Now, in the previous video... Uh, I was still waiting for a few little parts to arrive. Um, I actually turned up as I'd completed filming that uh, video. So I suppose if I had waited a little longer, I uh, would have uh, been here. Um, however, uh, I have done, uh, got the parts that I wanted for uh, that previous video on now. Um, also, in that last video, uh, you may remember um, when I did the first couple of passes with with it uh, in its current stage, or at its current stage then, um, I was using a ball differential, and you'll probably remember that the um, ball differential was, uh, like the terminology is barking, so, or basically screeching like crazy. Let's see how we go. Um, while the differential would be okay for off-road dirt applications, it can't handle the power and immense grip that the drag tires were creating. And under acceleration, you could hear it um, uh, barking and grinding away. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut to the table here and I will show you uh, what I've been doing and what I'm going to do in this video. Alright guys, so here we have the uh, car. So I will take off the shell here and show you what I have been doing since the last video. So, as you may recall, I have a, at this stage, a Turnergy 7.5 turn brushless motor. And uh, I currently, uh, as it is, is, it has the standard slipper clutch set up. So, and it's the uh, Trinity motor plate. That's probably the only fancy bit on the transmission. Um, but what I was waiting for were these links to turn up. Now these are HSP links. They're off a 1 8 scale buggy uh, steering. They're steering arms, if I remember, or camber links. I can't remember if, which one they are, but for what I wanted them for they do the job perfectly I had to <laughs> I had to also uh, 3d print a new wheelie bar for the buggy I had a case of butterfingers and I was uh, moving my buggy or moving the car and went to put it down and it slipped out of my hand and of course it didn't land nose first it had to land tail first so I buggered up the <laughs> wheelie bar and had to 3D print a new one, which was no biggie. Um, but the if you remember in the previous video, I had some different steering links off another buggy. Um, they had very good articulation and could move a lot because uh, I had them screwed in uh, to the screws here. I can't do that with these, they don't have that movement in the pivot ball. So what I did is I came up with a simple design, is a, um, 
it's like just a simple block where the screws go through here and then screws go into the side here and so I have two forms of adjustability. I can simply adjust the height of the um, wheelie bar just by turning these in equal amounts, or I can raise and lower this block here. It, it's not really uh, necessary to raise and lower the block, but that tuning is there if I want it. Um, so the camber links here are, these are a little bit well they're good and bad compared to the old ones that i had on from the previous video the other ones were just there just for so i could do a bit of filming um so those so those links there they work well um at the moment you can see there's a bit of height there I haven't got the battery in and i might have to do a little bit of uh oh yeah maybe a little bit of adjustment so now, in the previous video, as I mentioned earlier, the ball differential could cannot cope with the power and the grip. So what I am going to do in this video is I am going to install a gear differential. Now here's the little dilemma I've uh, run into. Now, this is a B5M, so this is, uh, in racing terms, uh, for two-wheel drive off-road buggies, this is an outdated chassis, which means that when you look at the uh, Team Associated website, the gear diff kit is discontinued. However, you can get all the parts, replacement parts, so what I've had to do is uh, buy all the individual uh, part number sets to make or to build a gear differential. Now I've done it this way because, like I said, the B5M um, gear differential set is discontinued, and I don't. I am not sure if. Because uh, the current uh, two-wheel drive buggy is a B6D or, or B6, I think it's up to B6.1 or 0.2. They have a you can get a gear differential set, and I am not sure if the gear diff set will fit into a B5M. So rather than take that gamble, I have decided to go this route and have. So we've got the diff housing. We have the gear, internal gears and the gaskets and so forth. We have the screws and we have the out drives. So this is just a, a rebuild kit. And so we have the diff and idler gear. And this is, um, I mean, this could really backfire on me and find out that this won't work. We'll soon find out. Um, and we've got the out drives and the screws. So what I'm going to do guys is I am going to do set this up and I am going to do a time lapse and we're just going to see how we go. So it's done. I I was a little worried because um, wasn't too sure if it would all work, um, but it all went together nicely. Uh, I had I was a little uh, cautious too, as I've never ever built a gear diff for uh, an associated one tenth buggy, so it was completely new for me. Uh, mainly because, so when I was building it, I was basically going on my memory of building diffs in other cars and so forth, because I had no instructions whatsoever, but it all went in 
and went smoothly. I also, uh, the, when it because it came with a spare idler gear, I took this idler gear out as it's all, as you can see it is quite narrow as well, and same with the uh, ball diff gear. Um, this is definitely, I would say, uh, from the B5M Lite, as it's a narrower gear and so forth. Same with the idler gear here. I would say that they're aftermarket uh, accessories that were put in. Um, so I, the reason why I put, I replaced the idler gear is, like I said, it's this is a lot narrower. And the fact that it is going to be having a fair amount of power go through it I want that load spread over a wider area so a narrower gear will not uh, suffice so uh, yeah so it all went together nicely um, now with uh, the diff oil because usually you might put like uh, I'm not sure what you'd use for um, uh, two-wheel drive uh, buggies but uh, I had some x-ray 100,000 CST uh, diff oil this is a uh, I got 60,000 80,000 100,000 this is what I would use in my nitro touring car that I used to race um, so and it is basically its consistency is like molasses so uh, Put that in the diff and it worked well so what I, we're going to do now is I mean it might be a day or so before I get to do a test run on this but uh, with the magic of video editing uh, we are going to cut to a test area and we're gonna see how it goes Hey guys it's a bit hard to find a spot where there's no cars or anything and it's fairly secluded and where there are no Karens it's been having a little bit of trouble all right so we'll just give it a this quick warm up I'll just give it a quick up and down just to see how it is seems to be tracking nicely it's going to be a little bit difficult though as you may not be able to tell on camera but the uh, pavement here is a bit off camber. Now, I've seen people do a tire warm up on carpet. Apparently, it saved the tires, so we'll just give this a quick go. Alright, so. This is with the gear diff, 100k oil. Let's see how we go. <laughs> well, definitely no barking. And she was definitely sketchy. have to do a bit more of a burnout so we'll just line it up get rid of the feather all right Yep. 
All right. Let's see how we go now. <laughs> she definitely pulled a wheel stand. Definitely, definitely no wheel spin on that one, but she launched pretty damn hard. What I might do, I'll do another warm up and then I will get a different perspective for the launch. Well, it is working a lot better. All right, guys. So, as you saw from those runs, I uh, had definitely launching better. Uh, that first run that you saw uh, obviously didn't uh, heat the tires up enough, so you heard that wheel spin. Uh, but those last, those other two passes that I did, you definitely saw. It launched pretty damn hard. As you, as you saw on that third one, I just got a different angle. Uh, and you saw the wheel stand that it pulled. <laughs> so the gear diff is working really good. And the 100k oil that I put in is working. Um, couldn't do too many passes at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, among, apart from Karen's. Yeah, get a few hecklers. No. So, unfortunately, this is the joy of living in my town. You get a few idiots. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Um, stay tuned for the next uh, no prep video. I have something coming for the car. I'm not going to give it away. So, stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you later.